It's the thriller in Manila. Australia's best hang gliders have their work cut out for them. Because in the New South Wales Hang Gliding Championships, a Spaniard is ruling the roost. Johnny Duran Jr. has been the Australian hang gliding champion for six years straight. He takes to the skies like the eagles he flies with. But this year in Manila, there's someone hot on his tail. Definitely. There's, uh, there's definitely one, one boy here that's uh, flying really well and uh, he's making it very difficult for me this year. That boy is Spain's Bly Olmos. 20 years old and on his first trip to Australia, Bly is turning the thermals above Manila into his personal playground. Yeah, I did well. But Johnny is pushing hard. So maybe we will see. Bly and Johnny are battling it out in hang gliders for the New South Wales Championships. They are both very impressed with the area and the conditions. It's amazing. It's like floodlands, good thermals, like, like in Spain, like, you know, the floodland in Spain. So it's quite similar. It is, yeah. It's, it's one of my favourite competitions every year. I do about 14 a year and this is one of my favourite ones. So it's good flying here. The competition lasts for eight days, finishing on Saturday. This year, it's seen quite a few international pilots and some new local faces. We try to make it as fun as possible. The aim of the competition is to help bring new pilots into the competition flying and just give them a bit of a taste as to what it's like. How this comp works is the hang glider pilots leap from Mount Bora into the abyss. They then aim to catch thermals, hot air rushes, that zoom them up to over 10,000 feet. And a uh, day like today, we'll probably see them rising about a thousand feet per minute. So it's about three or four times the fastest elevator you've been in. So you really feel that, that lift sensation when you're in one. The race starts in the air. Pilots navigating around a course in the sky. The fastest pilot wins, and then the fun part, landing. Well, it depends on the conditions. I'm thinking today, depending on the, the wind direction and that sort of thing, they could end up quite a ways away. With my feet firmly on the ground in Manila, Tim Martin, Prime News.